Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Pete Woods Gardening Tips. This week we're going to talk about plantains. It's nice. That's very beautiful, huh? Smell that wafting out of there. You know, you gotta you, in life. You gotta stop and smell the roses once in a while. You know what I mean? You gotta stop and smell the roses. Huh? Th those are lilacs. Lilacs, huh? Roses, lilacs. You gotta stop and smell the flowers, all right? Flowers. You gotta interrupt me over here. I'm in the middle of a moment here, and uh, I'm saying something nice, and you gotta interrupt with changing lilacs, okay? You gotta stop and smell the lilacs. Once in a while, you gotta get. You, you gotta turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. Welcome to Pete Woods Gardening Tips. This week's episode: plantains. We're gonna do the plantains. And the little planters around the courtyard, around the building, that'll be here for the whole season. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but it'll be worth it in the end. Let's get started. Okay, so we got everything we need. We just went to Jules. We bought all this stuff. Jewel. You know, uh, what? Jewel. Jules. yeah. We went to Jules, and we got all this stuff that we're going to be planting in our plantings. Uh, we got all the equipment we need. Let's go fill up the water containers and get started. All right? So the first thing you got to do is get a couple of watering cans. You fill them up. You carry them with you. This way, uh, as you plant the flowers, you have you got to get them nice and watered as you do it. Next, you're going to need potting soil. So grab a bag, bring it over to right where you're going to be working so you have it handy right next to you. Then you go back and get the water that you poured before. Bring it over so you have that handy right next to where you're going to be doing the work. What are you doing? No, no, what are you doing? Come on. We got no time here. Let's go. We got to get this over here. We want to be able to do the watering right where we need to do it. Yeah, yeah. Put it right there. Put it next to it down there so you have everything you need. Now you got everything you need to get started. Okay, so now you got your dirt. Now what you want to do is take things out of there. A milk container, a flower pot. Why those things are in there? I don't know. But uh, okay, so lift up your dirt. You want to pour your dirt into the pot like so. Dump it in there. Yeah, that's it. Dump it from the bag. Fill it up as much as you can. Fill it up to the top. Yeah, that's it. Now go get your flats of flowers that you're going to need to have right next to you so you have your choice of all the different flowers that you're going to need. Now you probably should have had things in closer proximity to where you're going to do the planting. But since we decided to do the planting on the outside, we'll do that first. So we're going to bring it out to the location of the plant. What? What's the matter? What? Oh, it backed up. Kill me. The thing is, watch out for obstacles, don't let doors slam in your face, and uh, bring it all the way back to where you're going to have the planting location done. Bring it right over here, that's it, yeah, right next to the planting, there you go. See, now you put it there, now you have your dirt, you have your flowers, you have your equipment, you have your pot filled with dirt. Now what you're going to start, you're going to put in your, uh, what you call your spikes, see, you put your spike right in the middle, this way you put your plantings right around them, like so. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. What you want to do is you want to put your spike in the middle. In the middle. Okay. You put your spike in the middle. That's yeah, the idea. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna take the flowers out of the six packs. This case we're using dianthus. Now what you want to do is you want to take the flowers out. You want to peel apart the roots so they're not root bound and stuck in the thing. Break up the roots. So you want to pull apart the roots because otherwise the plants think that they're still in the little six packs and they won't spread out in the dirt. See, they don't realize that. Now you put the dianthus. The dianthus like full sun. So you want to put a lot of dianthus in this. Well, this thing's going to be getting hit sun all day. You don't want to put impatiens in there because impatiens like the shade. Dianthus like the sun. But now what are you going to put in there? Vincus. Uh, Vincus. Vincus don't need like the sun that much either. They could do it doing the shade. But we're going to put Vincus in with the dianthus because... Uh, Judy forgot to buy other sunflower plants over here, but uh, that's not a problem. No, we can it, work on that later. It says tolerates hot and dry conditions. Okay, so they're perfect in other words. Okay, good. We'll be back after this. Well, Toyota, you'll get a kick out of savings during the World Savings Day. Oh, Roman. Bob Roman, Oakland Toyota and West Pot on Alton Avenue. Part of the Midwest number one buy your model group. And we're back. Now here's Judy putting the vincas in, right behind the dianthus there. She's going to split the roots, and this is going to look real nice. Yeah, now make sure you got enough dirt in there. You got enough dirt in there? Huh? Yeah. Now uh, sp split the roots there, put them there. Now why are you putting them in the center? Why are you putting them in the center? I thought we were going to put them in the uh, middle. As you can see, Judy put the spike in the back when I 
purposely asked to put it in the middle. But it doesn't matter. You know, back is good too. Back is nice because it gives it a backdrop. Anyway, we're going to throw a little dirt on top of that. Plant them in there. You break up the roots, right? You broke up the roots. Yeah, yeah. good, good. You break up the roots. Throw a little more dirt on there. And then we'll throw a little water. And you have a nice plant and set for the whole season. Oh. What are you doing here? What are you, wait, what are you doing? They're too low. They're too far down in the pot. Everything's got to come up about two, three inches. They can't be that th down there low. Mm. Lift them up a little bit, huh? Right. You want to okay. dress, you know, appropriately for doing gardening. You want to have shoes that work. You don't want to be wearing flip-flops, you know, and uh, white pants or anything like that. Because that, that's not what you should be wearing when you're doing gardening. You know what I mean? You're going to get dirty. And plus, you need to get around. And, you know, it's funny. Why don't you just do it in bare feet? You know what I mean? Huh? What? What's the matter? What I, what? What'd I say? What? What did I say? What? Jesus. What? I'm just talking. I'm, I'm, these are tips I'm giving. I'm giving tips here that you tell me what you shouldn't do and what you shouldn't shouldn't do. Why? What do you give me a hard time for? You know, you, you could have told me that it needed more dirt before I started planting. Huh? What did I say? I said put some dirt in there. Throw the flowers in the dirt. Put some dirt. Break up the roots. Throw a little dirt in there. I saw what I, t I told you everything you needed to know, but you, you didn't put enough dirt. You didn't throw enough dirt in there. What? Now what did I say? What? All right, while well, Judy's doing the final touches here, we're going to talk about uh, the importance of color in your plantings. I don't know, I think you can fit a couple more in there. What do you think? Huh? All right, well, the purple ones? Yeah, they're purple. More, more purple. You need lots of purples in there. You know, you want them to be full and flourishing. You know what I'm talking about? Purples. Yeah, grab a couple more purples there, throw them in there, and we'll see what happens. Break up the roots. Make sure you're breaking up the roots there. You're breaking them up, yeah. pull them apart a little bit. You gotta break up the roots a little bit, you know what I mean? You're watching me pull no, them. Yeah, guys, yeah, pull them good. good. Yeah, yeah. Throw a little water in there. You know, we got some water here. What, look, you know that thing's leaking? You know that thing's leaking? How old is that thing? Look, it's leaking all over the place. What good is a water pot, the water thing that leaks? All right, hold on. Throw a little water in there. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's the big, full, yeah, use the full one. Use the full one. Yeah, that's it. And this is the one you got on American Pickers? Yeah. So that's what you do. You throw a little water in there. You give it a lot of water. Throw a little water. Throw a lot of water. Keep throwing water in there. They need, when you're doing planting, they need lots of water. Put more water. What are you doing? Put, 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 put more water in there. What are you doing? But they're so. What are you putting it down for? No, no. It's never, you're never wet enough when you're doing plantings. Oh, you got to put more water in there. Go ahead. Throw a little more water in there. Good. Yeah, see, that's what you do. You got to throw okay, a little water right. in there give them, when you're doing plantings. That's okay, now I want to add some to this one over here because I have extra. Okay, we'll what? do that next. I got an idea. How about this? How about you put some in that other planter over there because that might need a couple more. I, I think we should do that. that. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, why don't you do that? Go ahead. Okay, okay. okay I'm going to put some in here, but um, you got to help me out. Some of these, uh, you know, they... There's a mixture. They got to match them up right. Yeah, you put your reds in. Right, you got red in there. What else do you need? You got red. No, well, they're different pinks, shades. Pinks, different shades. So you put one shade leading to the next shade. Then you put your reds in the middle. There you go. That's what you do. Now, what you want to do is you want to put your shades leading into the darker shades into the darkest color. And this way, you got a uh, what you call blending. Uh, the, the impatience over here. Okay. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor. <laughs> All right, we're back. Now we're getting ready to plant our impatience. Um, I'm going to put two white vacants to, like, break it up. The whiteness, you know? Yeah, what you want to do is you want to put two white vinkers in there to break it up, you know, so you don't have all one color. That's what you want to do. I think you should put some white vinkers in there, you know, break up the monotony, you know. Even though you're doing a blending, you want to put a little white in there just to, you know, break up the monotony. Go ahead, do that, would you? Uh, good idea. She's Thanks. putting the white vinkers in there on the edge. Why are you putting them on the edge? I, I, what do you want? No, no, yeah, you put them on the edge. That's good. And then, then uh, the, others, the, the other ones will blend in the other way, you know, the impatience. Well, I have one over here. Yeah. And three here. Yeah, so yeah. When they bloom. Well, yeah, put one over there, three on the other side. Yeah, that'll okay. do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, put one on that tree over there. Throw a little water in there now, and then that'll be it for that one. No, no. Move that here. Move. You want to fade them back. Look, this one's buried over here. Nobody can see that one. You got the tall ones over here. You got that one over there. What's the matter? You need more water than that. No, that's not enough. Get some more water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, throw a little water over here. Here we go. Look at that. What a plant, huh? There's a nice planting. That'll last you all summer long. Yeah, throw a little water in there. Most of the time, you, all you have to do is let the rain do it, huh? Throw a little water. 
Well, that's enough. Well, come on. That's enough. No, that's not enough. Put it's some it's more. It's my in gardening it. tip, Sean. I'm, I'm, I'm one giving the tips. I say throw a little water in there. Throw a little more water in there. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that's not really much, but I'll, that'll do. It's good. Yeah, that looks good. Now just clean up here. Get all that crap out of the way. Go upstairs. We'll make some lunch. Uh, we'll take a break. It's been hard work. We'll be right back after this. Huh? Can you help me uh, take some of this stuff down? Wait, we don't know this. Uh, this is Pete Woods gardening tips. That's Judy's gardening tips, okay? But uh, yeah, well, maybe I'll give you a hand. <sighs> yep. Well, it was a lot of hard work, but it was worth it. Because now that the plantings are done, you're done for the season. You don't have to work hard all summer. You can enjoy your flowers. They'll grow all year. They'll get bigger and bigger all the way to the end of the fall season. So this is Pete Woods Gardening Tips Plantings Edition. And uh, it was a lot of hard work, but it was worth it in the end. Oh, what? 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 What did I do? What? What did I do now? What did I do? Okay. What? That's it. That's it. That's it. What are you talking about? What I do now? What I do now? I didn't do a thing. Where you going? Where you going? Jewel. Oh. What? Oh. Jewels. This has been a Filmways presentation. <laughs>